where the first topic is here petroleum we know that the petrol is used as a fuel in light automobiles such as motorcycle scooter and cars and also in the trucks uh, or the transport vehicles okay so that the heavy motor vehicles like truck and uh, tractors run on the diesels okay so, uh, and or uh, we also know that these petrol and diesels are obtained from the natural resources what are the natural resources means which are uh, as earlier we have discussed that the natural resources are the resources which are obtained by the nature which synthesize due to the uh, which synthesize from the fossil fuels so like coal petroleum and natural gases are the natural resources okay so that the word we petroleum is derived from petra which means rock and eolium which means oil as it is mined because we know that it is mined from between the rock under the earth uh, under the earth as it is shown in the diagram see go the gases and oils are the drill are the mine from the and uh, between uh, under the earth uh, under mine from mine from between the rock and earth uh, earth here okay so that we can say that now the one question is arise here do you know how the petroleum is formed the petroleum was formed from the early from the living organism present into the sea how because as we know that when these organisms are die so their body settle at the bottom of the sea and get covered with the layer of sand and clay with which and these dead organism which covered with the layer of sand and clay after the million of the years the millions of the year due to the absence of the air and high temperature and pressure they transform these circumstances uh, they transform into the dead they transform the dead organism into the petroleum and natural gases means due to the in we know that the in anaerobic um, respiration in anaerobic uh, anaerobic uh, condition the petroleum the petroleum products are uh, or alkaline products are uh, alkaline products are formed so when the there is no air high temperature high pressure are present so these dead organism are converted into the petroleum and natural gases as i will show in the diagram the deposited uh, the deposits of the petroleum and natural gases have the layer which containing the petroleum ion in oil and gas in above that the that of water so what we can show that why it is present above the water we know that the oil and gases are lighter than the water and do not mix with it so that they are present above the water surface into the earth the word for soil well well 
was trailed to the Pensier Lavania in the USA in 1859 and after the 8 year later means in 1867 the oil was stopped at the Makun in Assam in Assam which is situated into the India okay so the in India the oils are found into the Assam Gujarat Mumbai high and in the river basin of Godavari and Krishna okay next is your refineries of petroleum we know that the petroleum is a dark oily liquid which have uh, have the unpleasant odor and it is also a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas petrol diesel lubricant oil paraffin wax etc so the process of separating the various constituents fractions uh, constituents of the fraction of petroleum is known as refining and the process of the refining is carried out into the petroleum refineries okay as it is shown in the diagram the various constituent of the petroleum and their uses are given into the uh, into the um, table into the next slide okay so that there are the many useful substances which obtained from the petroleum and natural gases are termed as petrochemicals these petrochemicals are used in the manufacturing of detergent fiber such as polyester nylon acrylic etc and the petrochemicals also used into the production or synthesis of polythene and other man made plastics there are the some gases are also evolved or evolved uh, in the refinery process such as hydrogen gas which is produced uh, obtained from the natural gas and it is used into the production of fertilizer like urea so uh, and due to the and we know that the petro uh, petrochemicals have the great commercial importance so due to the due to its great commercial uh, due to its commercial importance the petroleum is also called black gold okay next up is uh, is your natural gas we know that the natural gas is a very important for a very important fossil fuels because it is easy to transport through the pipeline the natural gases are stored under the high pressure that's why it's also known as that's why uh, sorry the natural gases are also stored as a under the high pressure as compressed natural gas which is also called cng cng is are used for the power generation and it uh, and as a fuel for the transportation of vehicles vehicles into the metropolitan city like mumbai delhi bangalore kerala uh, hyderabad gujarat etc okay so why they are uh, cngs are used as a fossil uh, use as a fuel for the transport transport vehicles because uh, it is a less polluting okay
there is a great advantage of the CNG uh, is if uh, we are using it, it uh, it can be used uh, directly for the burning into the home and factories where it can be supplied through the pipeline such as network of the pipelines existed into the Varudra, Gujarat and some part of Delhi and other places. Nowadays, if you are going uh, to visit into the metropolitan cities like Mumbai and all, so there is a, uh, the, a big towers are present. So it is not a possible, so every man, uh, every person can carry the gas cylinder into their uh, flats. So what now, nowadays what is the companies are doing, they are supplying the natural gas or the CNGs with the help of the pipeline, okay? So natural gas is also used as a starting material for the manufacturing of numbers of chemicals and fertilizer. Okay? In India, there is a vast reservoir of natural gases like in Tripura, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and into the Krishna Godavari Delta. There is, uh, let's talk about the various constraints of the petroleum and their uses. The first constraint of the petroleum is petrol gas uh, in the liquid form that is your LPG. It used as a fuel for home and industries. Next one is your petrol which is used for the motor fuels, aviation fuels, solvent for the dry cleaning. Okay. Kerosene, it used for the stove, lamp and jet, uh, uh, for the jet aircraft. Diesels, fuels for the heavy motor vehicles. Electric, uh, electric generators, etc. Lubricating oil. Lubricating oils are also used into the more in, into the vehicles and etc. Paraffin wax. It is on uh, used into the ornaments, candles, Vaseline, etc. But bitumens, which used into the bitumens are generally used into the paint and road surfacing. Okay. So last topic of the today lecture is limited nature, natural resources. Before that, I would like to ask the one question with you. Can the coal and petroleum and natural gases can be prepared into the laboratory from the dead organic organism? Okay. So the answer of this question is no. Their formation is a very slow process and Con and the condition which is necessary for their formation cannot be created into the laboratory so that the coal, petroleum and natural gases ca gases cannot be prepared into the laboratory from dead organisms. Okay? We have already studied into the beginning of this chapter that there are the so many natural resources which, which can be exhaustible like fossil fuels, forest, minerals, etc. So, we have to, uh, we are also knowing that the coal and petroleum are the fossil fuels which require, require the dead organism, which require the million of the years to get convert uh, to get convert the dead organism into the fuels. So we uh, and the while on the other hand we also know that the reservoir of these are last only the few hundred year. So however the burning of the fuels is a major cause of the air pollution uh, which is also linked to a global warming okay therefore it is a necessary that we have to be use these fuels only when the absolutely it is necessary and which result if you are doing all these uh, using only whenever it is necessary so it's result into the better environment 
small uh, smaller risk of the global warming and their availability for the longer period of the time so in india there is a authority board of authority uh, which name is the petroleum conservation research association pcra which advise the people to save the petrol diesel while driving and they have suggested the some uh, tips like whenever we are driving so we have to drive at the constant and moderate speed as far as possible okay and whenever we are driving and mm, there is a traffic light so we have to be switch off the engine at the traffic light or the place where you have to wait okay we also have to ensure uh, ensure that the correct tire pressure means the proper amount of the air should be present into the tire and the last step is to ensure the global maintenance of the vehicles okay sorry to ensure the regular maintenance of the vehicles so these are the measurement or the tips we have to be adopt in our habit through that we can be conserve our uh, earth from the global warming and we also have left the availability of the these natural resources for the longer time uh, for the longer time and for the our next generations so i think you have to learn, you have already learned about the coal and petroleum so this is all about the this chapter this is this is all about today lecture thank you have a nice day